हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू टेक टिप्स जो विंडोज़ 11 बिल्ड 24H2 वर्जन 26063 इज हियर एंड इट ब्रिंग्स अ फ्यू चेंजेस टू को पायलट द फर्स्ट बिग अनाउंसमेंट इज वाईफाई 7 सपोर्ट सो इफ योर पीसी हैज अ वाईफाई 7 कंपैटिबल कार्ड एंड यू हैव अ वाईफाई 7 राउटर यू विल सून बी एबल टू एंजॉय गुड स्पीड्स the next up is a major improvement in copilot first of all you can see that the copilot icon is on the extreme right side of the taskbar copilot has introduced some default actions that you can perform with it here is a list of some of those actions for example i will ask it to clean the storage and previously it would just generate a string of text from the web to how to clean my pc but now it will open the dedicated app that will wipe the pc clean in this case when i click on the yes button it opens the disk cleanup tool but there is this one layer redundancy while using copilot because you already have give it a command and then still need to click on the yes button to approve the command once again I find it a little irritating because I already gave the command and copilot should act on it without asking me again. Windows has also been trying to make the copilot bigger. The copilot window is now resizable. It means that you can drag it to the left hand side to make it bigger and it also makes it easy to spot your recent activity and add any plugins while using copilot if you want you can show it as an overlay or you can just drag it to a side or stack it with another open app in the previous build 26058 there was an option to transfer the selected text to copilot and copilot would explain it but it is missing in this build also there was uh, option to summarize text whenever you selected any kind of text on your PC but that is also missing in this build and so are the widget support next there are some changes to the graphic settings and Windows is including something called automatic super resolution that will use AI to upscale the display quality in apps just head to the graphics section and you can see that there's the new feature and you can use it in selective apps too just click on the app to expand it and you can use automatic super resolution in here it is still an experimental phase so you won't be noticing any difference and since i am trying it in a vm it is just there for the sake of appearance next up is the seek speak for me app this app will read aloud the text that you input here whether it be a sentence or a paragraph the tool will read it out for you you can switch between multiple voices or you can even create your own voice avatar with this app to read aloud a paragraph or a speech next is improved file explorer context menus the current context menus in file explorer have small icons and it makes it very difficult to guess what they do but now labels appear below each icon you can see that delete rename copy and cut are there and you will also see more icons as you continue using the file explorer pointer indicator is an accessibility feature that makes it easy for visually challenged users to identify where the pointer is on the screen just open the accessibility settings and scroll down to the moist pointer and touch and you can see that there's a pointer indicator option you can also change its color and previously the same feature existed in Microsoft Power Toys, but it is nice that it is now here natively. You can also enable Speak for Me in the accessibility settings, and there is the shortcut key for launching it without opening the settings.
there is also improvement in microphone quality you can now test your microphone quality inside the sound settings just click on the active microphone and it will take you to its dedicated settings page in here you can change the format you can change the input volume and you can even test the microphone using this tool just click on the start test button and it will capture some audio and then you can play it back to check if the quality is good or not microsoft also included sudo with the first 24 s2 build in 2024 sudo is a tool which allows you to run commands with elevated permissions in windows earlier it existed only for linux but now the tool is available in windows you will have to enable it in the settings app first and there are three modes in which you can use sudo they are inline in a new window and just go to the developer settings and you can enable sudo here make sure to run it in a new window to avoid any security mishaps let me showcase you a command to run it for example if you want to run check disk you need elevated permissions and since i am running it in normal mode in command prompt i will get an error but if i use sudo to run the check disk command just type sudo check disk and then press enter the user account control will pop up and sudo will run the command with elevated permissions in a new window that's all for this video guys these were some of the features that are introduced since the arrival of 24h2 build make sure to like and subscribe and also share this video with other fellow windows enthusiasts see you in the next one